Hey guys, this is some random Irish guy. Welcome to part two of my entire game collection. Um, in the first part, I was looking at my Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. Um, really, guys, this this video is going to go on for some time. This is part two. It might get up to even part four because I have a lot, a lot of stuff to show you. So just if you're interested, stay tuned. If not, well then click on something else. But this is mostly for all my subscribers from all the you know. The, the the feedback and all the the comments and just all the general hospitality I'm getting off from my subscribers. This this one goes out to the fans really. So thanks very much. And this is a uh, part two. So I'm gonna work down from the bottom and work our way up. So this is the N64 as well as as well as three Super Nintendo games because I'm really running out of space. I have to get another shelf actually. But first I'm just gonna show you these two little sections here. So this is where I keep all my wires and crap. Uh, not really that big of a deal, but. For anyone that has Game Boy games, you'll know what all these are for. So, um, I've got the flashlight on, I don't know why. Alright, so this here is a standard Game Boy charger. You all know that. What else do I have here? I've got a Nintendo DS charger. I've got a headphone splitter for when I'm editing my stuff. Uh, i got a um, Game Boy Micro charger, which was very hard to come by. Uh, a Nintendo 3DS charger. And uh, original Game Boy charger. No, sorry. Uh, apologies, Jesus. A Game Boy DS charger. So the DS and the DS. Um, hang on, yeah. The Game Boy Advance SP and the DS are the same charger. So I got two when I bought two consoles. I've got a PSP here, which I doubt works anymore because I haven't played that thing in God knows how long. And I have a spare iPod, an iPod Nano, which I'd say I need a battery. So. It's just oh, it all goes back in here. So like when I'm stuck for a charger or if I need to give power to my you know, things, obviously that's I keep on my chargers. And this it's a colossal mess of wires back there. Uh, there's some Wii accessories that I really don't use. I they're very cheap actually, I don't really use them that much. This is a stupid little gun thing which feels really nice but it's it's kinda crap. I got the 3DS docking bay which I never use because I don't really care for it. I got this uh grip thing for the Wii. And that's just the wee wheel. We've all seen that before. Not much of a big thing back there. Just that's like plastic. All right. Now let's get on to the games. That's what you're here for, right? Yeah, games. First off, this thing that sticks out here is the oh my god, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Do I need to say any more? No, we all know this game. These are three Super Nintendo games that I'll get to in a minute. So I get my um. Uh, N64 games out of the way. I haven't got that much actually, but I've got some of the most um, common N64 games out there. I've got Super Smash Brothers, Majora's Mask, Yoshi Story, uh, what else? Super Mario 64, uh, Lilac Wars, which is Star Fox 64, uh, Mario Kart 64, which is still expensive as hell, Pokemon Stadium. I was actually one of the games I grew up with when I was a kid. South Park. I know it's a bad game for anyone that has ever played it before, but I just got it merely for the fact that I'm a huge, huge fan of South Park. Don't ask me why, I just like South Park. And when I saw it was made by Acclaim, I thought, oh, it's the same people that made Mortal Kombat. It might be somewhat good, but no, nah, it's kind of crap. Uh, Goldeneye. I'm pretty sure everyone owned this game once. And last, Castlevania. So, yeah. Not that much um, N64 games, but <laughs> if you include an Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, that's enough to keep you going for what, like maybe five years? Because really, those games have too much detail into them. It's unbelievably, unbelievable how much you have to do in that game. Alright, now, I'll just get these three Super Nintendo games out of the way, because I'm working back up now. Oh, oh I'm sinking back down. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not really doing that much editing on this video because it's more like a free of hand video. Really. What do you think, guys? Chloe? Hey. What do you think? Should I do any editing, should I? Should I do some editing? What do you think? Maybe. What do you think, Belle? The dog, I don't know. I have my flashlight, actually. What do you think, guys? Snorts. Pig dog. Pig dog. Oh, she snorts. Schnell. Okay, never mind. Alright, so these three games I have. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Yeah, it's a bit, bit dark over in this corner here, so I'll just turn on my light, actually, yeah. Okay, that's nice and bright. Okay, these three Super Nintendo games I have on the floor are 
Battletoads and Battle Maniac, which is just in a nutshell Super Battletoads. Uh, Zombies, which is a great game. The full title of it is Zombies Ain't My Neighbours, but if you live in uh, Europe or UK even, they just call it Zombies. The newest recruitment game that I got, which I've been anticipating for a long, long time. I'm so happy I finally got it. Super Castlevania 4, which is by far one of the best games I've ever played in my life. You can tell I'm a huge fan of Konami. If you can't tell that already, you got Konami and Konami and Battletoads made by Nintendo, obviously. I'm a huge, huge fan of Konami. So yeah, right, more Super Nintendo games. First, I've got these two NES games here. The Flintstones, the Resco of Dino and Hobby. And probably the worst game I've ever played. Mario's Missing. Yeah, let's just put that back there. We don't need to, need to talk about that. Okay, there uh, we go. Super Mario Kart. Okay, I think everyone knows that game. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got uh, Bubsy, which is just a weird fucking game. I, I don't know what it is. It's... It's, I must say it's bad, it's like Sonic the Hedgehog, except, well, you're Bubsy. <coughs> Moving on. Uh, Super R-Type, great space shooter games. Uh, what else do we have here? The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. I think everyone knows that game. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. Uh, it's alright, really. It's, it's a good game, but I, I much prefer the second one. Mario Paint, I have the mouse for that, I think, here, lying around. Uh, a super Pro Protector, if you live in America, this is Super Contra. Super Contra Alien Rebels, it's the sequel to Pro Protector. No, the, the super version of the Pro Protector, there's a Pro Protector 2, actually, sorry. Don't want to get any angry mail telling me you're wrong. Okay, what else we have here? Super Mario World, I'm not going to take these out because they'll fall on top of each other. Super Mario World, Yoshi's Island. Way around. Bomberman. <laughs> I like Bomberman, he's funny. Uh, what's his name? F Zero. It's a great game. Uh, Mario All Stars. And if I'm not mistaken, this is Donkey Kong Country 2. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country 2. I much prefer that one than the original one. So, yeah, only thing annoying about these Super Nintendo games is that, unlike the Nintendo games, there's no end labels. So, you can't tell what game is which. So, you have to individually pull out each game. Or unless you've got probably the best memory by mankind, you'll know which is which. But, like, for me, I don't know which is which, so I'm always pulling out the games going, is that it? No, is that it? No, is that it? No. That's really annoying. I might actually make my own end labels, but I really couldn't be honest. Okay, four more Super Nintendo games. Like, like you see, I'm running out of space here. Uh, another Konami game. Tiny Toons Buster Busts Loose. It's a tongue twister. What's this now? Uh, Yoshi's Safari, which is for the Super Scope. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> and this is uh, Starwing. Star Fox. And that's it, really. That's my Super Nintendo collection. Now let's go on to the Nintendo, which, as you can tell, it's probably going to take some time because I've got a lot of Nintendo games. So we're coming up to 8 minutes and 35 seconds, I believe. So I'll probably get most of what I can done, and then we'll come in for part three. So let's start at the bottom. So here we have Master Blaster, which is a really good game. Legend of Zelda, uh, bleh, wrong one. Legend of Zelda Two: A Link to the Past. Uh, no, le uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Legend of Zelda Two: The Adventure of Link. Jesus, the fans will go mad if I get it wrong. Uh, the game that I'm pretty much everyone owns in their collection. The Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, yeah, everyone has that. Super Mario Brothers 2, again, everyone has that. Mario Brothers 3, again, everyone has that. The Legend of Zelda Boxed, which was very hard to come by, and it's not really in that much of a good condition, but all the maps of Hyrule and the Overworld and Underlo Underworld and the Manual, they're all in there. Mega Man 2, another great game, very hard to get as well too. It's just <laughs> really good game by Capcom. Like if you if you've never played if you've never played Mega Man, well then what are you doing? And uh, yeah, golf. Not much to say about that. Just golf. Okay, so it's coming up to 9:40. So I tell you what, I'm just gonna cut this video short because I really want to get all these Nintendo videos done in one um, clip. So yeah, stay tuned for part three, and we'll look at the Nintendo games. Thanks for watching.